When most people see their blood pressure like 100 over 70 or something like that, they're like, all right, man, I don't have high blood pressure. I must be so healthy. But what you may not know is that when blood pressure is that low, it can be creating some significant problems. You don't want to miss this. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. What makes this topic even more confusing is that most doctors are going to look at a blood pressure of 90 over 60 and say, hey, great job. Way to go, champ. That's how you want to do it. And the reason they view it that way is because with a blood pressure that low, they feel like the person's not going to have a, a blowout, you know, a heart attack or, or a stroke. But for the person running around on flat tires all day, is that any fun either? So what we want to look at is why blood pressure would be that low and the problems that can result from that coming about. So when we're looking at our blood pressure number, that's a reflection of the minerals in the system, protein, blood sugar, and even filth and junk that the body's trying to get rid of. All those things can thicken up the blood and raise the pressure needed to push that blood through the system. So it raises our blood pressure. If your systolic blood pressure number, that top number, is below 112, that can be a strong indication that there's not enough minerals in the system. When there's not enough minerals, that blood pressure will go much lower because it becomes a lot thinner. The problem with minerals being low is that there's a lot of functions in the body that require minerals to be present for those functions to be carried out. And when those minerals are not available, it can create a lot of problems. You can have symptoms like fatigue and, and dizzy spells and depression and severe cravings and severe PMS symptoms or irregular periods and insomnia and early menopause and the list can go on and on. And what's important to understand is that there's signals that need to travel from the brain to the body and from the body back to the brain. And a lot of these signals travel through these minerals. So when there's not enough minerals there, these signals can get dropped off and they don't make it where they're supposed to go. It can lead to a lot of those issues like depression and bipolar issues and a lot of other mental and emotional issues. The problem is that when a lot of these issues get to a severe level, the body is going to figure out how to get these minerals anyways. It's going to figure out ways to function when there's not enough resources there for it to function the way that it wants to function. It has to look for a backup way. One of those backup ways is that it can raise stress hormones like estrogen. And high levels of estrogen can do things like inhibit proper thyroid function. High levels of estrogen can thicken up your bile so that bile won't flow correctly and that inhibits proper digestion. It also blocks the body's main detox pathway. So now the body doesn't have a way to get rid of all the filth and toxins that it's trying to get rid of. Another backup strategy the body can use when enough minerals aren't coming in is the body says, well, I'm going to shop for them myself. The problem is you're the 7-Eleven that the body is shopping at. So the body will actually mine itself for its own minerals. It can break down muscles, which can end up lowering our metabolism. It can break down connective tissues, creating problems that way. It can even break down organs like your lungs. Here's a hint. You need your organs. You want those to work. And the body can even break down bones trying to access minerals. It'll just mine the bones to get the minerals that are not coming into the system leading to issues like osteoporosis and, and fragile bone situations. It's also important that the body is not mining too many minerals out of our tissues because when too many minerals like calcium are pulled out of the tissues, it can restrict the body's ability to signal the immune system that there's a problem, that it needs to attack. So this is a time in the world where we kind of want our immune system to work. We also need enough minerals for the body to be able to make hydrochloric acid or stomach acid so that we can break down our food and pull more minerals out of that food. So you can see that a person can get stuck in this downward spiral of not having enough minerals for digestion to work correctly, but an inability to digest the food and pull the minerals out of that food. They'll continue to spiral in this spiraling spiral until it spirals down. I feel like I can't stop saying spiral. But you can see that all the trouble that can come about from mineral levels being too low in the system. So if your systolic blood pressure is under 112, you really want to take some steps to lift your mineral levels and allow the body to function the way that it wants to function. To help walk you through that, go ahead and jump right over right now and watch our video on how to lift your mineral levels. I can't wait to hear about your results.